What does success look like to you? Are you wondering if you will become successful? Whatever success looks like to you, we at Psych2Go know that you can do it, no matter your mental health problems. Here are 10 signs that you will be successful by 30. 1. You get plenty of sleep. If someone told you everything you know about sleep is wrong, would you be open to a nighttime paradigm shift? You probably would, especially seeing as getting plenty of sleep is a far better predictor of success than struggling through chronically sleep-deprived grinds. UC Berkeley professor of neuroscience and psychology Matthew Walker says, there really isn't any system within your body or process within the brain that isn't wonderfully enhanced by sleep when you get it or demonstrably impaired when you don't get enough. So what is enough sleep? Eight hours a night is the ideal number. Two, you have a growth mindset. If you believe that things are not fixed and can change, then you have a growth mindset. According to Stanford professor of psychology, Dr. Carol Dweck, People with a growth mindset are less likely to blame external circumstances and blame on others. Instead, they focus on building themselves. 3. You know the difference between being busy and being productive. New York Times senior editor and Pulitzer Prize-winning columnist Charles Duhigg once stated, Being busy and being productive are not synonymous. If you're slowing down and making time for the routines that help you cultivate awareness and increased productivity, you're doing something right. 4. You cultivate self-awareness. Organizational psychologist and researcher Dr. Tasha Yorick believes that self-awareness means knowing your values, knowing your strengths, knowing what you don't know. Journaling, meditating, taking aptitude and personality tests, and reflecting on how you're showing up on and offline are signs that you're prioritizing self-awareness. So far, do you find yourself crossing one of the four signs? If so, you're already on your way. Also, if you made it this far in the video, comment below with the hashtag Psych2Go what you're currently doing to cultivate self-awareness. We'd love to hear. 5. You value EQ more than IQ. Dr. Daniel Goleman says that while your IQ determines about 20% of your success, your emotional intelligence determines about 80%. If you're working on regulating your emotions, empathizing with others, and rising to leadership occasions in your sphere of influence, you're actively developing your EQ every day. Don't worry if you're an introvert, though. You can still develop EQ in many other ways. 6. You're self-compassionate. Self-compassion is neither soft nor woo-woo. Award-winning psychologist Dr. Susan David states, self-compassion is one of the core aspects of the ability to move through life effectively. In fact, researchers show that people who've created self-forgiving and safe psychological spaces within themselves are better equipped to handle setbacks. Are you currently practicing self-compassion? If so, comment below with a yes and how you're doing it. 7. You embrace discomfort. Embracing discomfort. Doesn't that fly in the face of being self-compassionate? Not according to Dr. Andy Malinsky, professor of organizational behavior and psychology at Brandeis University. Dr. Malinsky shares that a willingness to embrace discomfort is one of the key things that differentiates successful people from their less successful peers, regardless of their interests or fields. Why? When you give yourself permission to fail, to be human, and to make mistakes, you make it easier to step outside of your comfort zone. 8. You meditate regularly. Meditation, like good sleep, is so commonly recommended that it's almost a cliche. The truth is that there are no quick fixes and that success is about mastering and executing the basics. Dan Harris is an ABC News correspondent who spent many years discounting self-help strategies as BS. That is until he had a panic attack in front of 5 million people on live TV. Since then, he's benefited from, researched, and become an advocate for meditation and its scientifically proven abilities to change the mind and body. Meditation is one of the most scientifically validated things you could possibly do to help yourself become more successful. 9. You're an action taker. If you made it this far into the video already, great job! You're that much closer to success. You care about success enough to know all the signs. So about being an action taker, it is key! Author and successful photographer James Clear says, Your actions become evidence for the type of person you believe you are. As expert and author Gary John Bishop says, life only ever changes in the paradigm of action. You must do something different to get different results. 10. You know how to blast apart your limiting beliefs. Lastly, the most important point, you have to believe that success is for you. 
One of the biggest things holding people back are their own limiting beliefs. Successful people always ask themselves what's holding them back and really make the time and energy to deeply answer that question. The repressed stories of our own childhood might also manifest as limiting beliefs. When asked how to dismantle a repressed childhood story, such as, I'm not good with money, or I can't sell, or I'm not good enough. Byron Katie, speaker, author, and founder of The Work, self-inquiry method says it begins with asking yourself, is this true? Knowing how to look your stories in the eye is a great indicator that you are on the path to achieving success, regardless of your age. Hope you enjoyed this video. 10 Signs You Will Succeed Before 30 is done in collaboration with Matt Bodnar and his partner Austin Fable. Matt was named Forbes 30 Under 30 in 2017. He currently has his own podcast, The Science of Success, where he's interviewed 200 plus experts in the field of neuroscience, psychology, and business. If you enjoyed this video and you believe you can do it with the power of psychology, head over to his podcast at www.successpodcast.com. Also, as a challenge question, we would like you to send in an email telling us what you would do to cultivate your self-growth, and one of you will be featured in our next video.